hi there everyone welcome to another episode of trevor's terrarium here at geektopia island i'm cardwell i'm kevin and that's trevor and today we have a fun little green deck for you but before we get into it we're going to remind you that we do have a patreon it only takes a dollar to support us and we'll love you very much for it and the link will be down below uh today's deck is up up and away it's another deck that i can annoy kevin with <laughs> in the brawls it's, yeah it's a green airship deck and then we're bouncing a lot of things and of course to do that we need Eaton, Exiled Prince, the Cloud Strife of the the whole community there. And we're on air ships, so that's perfect, right? Yeah, I know, right? So what does this champion do? So once per turn, pay one, sacrifice a unit you control, put it into play one air unit from your hand, which costs one greater than the sacrifice unit. So you can just quickly get bigger dudes out there for sure, for cheap. And our spirit, of course, is Kite, the air spirit. Once per turn, during your turn, discard one card, return target air unit you control to its owner's hand, and if you do, switch one of your exhaust shards to active. Then you can soul burst it, return target unit with cost three or less uh, to its owner's hand, and then there you go. But of course the bouncing mechanic that we'll be doing will actually matter, so we'll see how it goes and how fluid it'll be. Our first dude of the deck is a Sky Raider and it is a Skyship Engineer, and she is one for, and she can exhaust, return this card to its owner's hand, and if you do, your airship unit costs one less to play this turn. Yep, simple as that. And yes, you're right, she does look like the uh, mechanic from Firefly. <laughs> the next one is Cloud Sea Jumper. It's a one drop 500, it's one of the new cards. It's a Sky Raider. Reveal this card from your hand, put this card from your hand into play. If you do, draw a card. Use only if an airship unit you controlled was put in the discard zone this turn. So, uh, I'm pretty sure as soon as the thing dies while well, on your turn or their turn, you just reveal it and then put it in the hand. Yeah, and you just get to draw a card, which is pretty nice. Next up is the Cloud Sea Scout Ship. It is two for a 1,000 airship. Arrive, you look at the top card of your opponent's deck, you may put it on the top or bottom of the deck. That's cool. And then Ruined, if you may put into play target Sky Raider unit with cost one from your discard zone. So it helps you put back any of the little dudes to help you do silly stuff with, like the engineer that can j bounce yourself to do other things. Yep. Or and then also like if you discard this to bounce something else or a one drop then this will bring it back and all that fun stuff and it's a two drop airship which is pretty super cheap yeah the next one is uh we know we we talked about this and how it's a very uh, controversial thing here <laughs> but we have a uh, Grove Elemental it's a two drop two thousand very powerful so unit elemental arrive if you played at least two other cards this turn put the top card of your shard deck into play sounds great. And then, whenever this card leaves the field, your opponent may destroy one of your shards. You get, they get to choose. But we're going to make sure that doesn't happen with a certain other card as well. Yeah. Next up is Ella the Sky Huntress. She is two for 1,000. Arrive, you may discard one Sky Raider unit or airship unit from your hand. If you do, target unit loses all abilities and cannot attack as long as you control this card. So, you can target the Grove Elemental with this if you want to to remove that ability so you don't lose a stone and have just... Big thing. dudes, but I don't. It's it doesn't seem really worth it to me. No, because this card literally locks down one of their dudes so hard. It, it's extremely powerful. This card is so good and yeah. silly. It it gets ridiculous because you're just like, hey, that dude doesn't do anything. Yeah. Thanks. It just sits there. It loses guardian and it can't attack. So what are you gonna yeah. do? The next one is also a pretty nice. One is Sky Tree Marksman. It's a three drop fifteen hundred Sky Raider. Arrive. Return another target unit, air unit you control to its owner's hands, and if you do, deal 1500 to target unit. Thanks! And if you get the chain of these, then you're just like, cool, that dude takes 15, yeah. that dude takes 15. 15. Hey, 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 let's just keep doing it. Yeah, turn six when you have six shards, and you're just like, yeah, pay three, kill that dude. Oh, I bounce this one, pay three, kill that dude. I bounce the other one in my hand. Yeah. Also, now we have the Overgrown Sabertooth. He is three for 3000. It is an Omega unit, and you place on one of your air units. Yeah. And it's got unblockable, so guardians can't be used to block this. And then ruined, recover up to two of your shards. So it it's mostly there to be put onto your Grove Elemental, and another card later on we'll get to. But yeah. it's just there to help get you there. Yeah. And it Omega's onto one of your dudes to take it away. So if you're able to get a shard from your Grove Elemental and then play this on top of it, and it doesn't use the stack, so it immediately goes on, so they can't react to kill your elemental. So, bam. No, you don't have to worry about your shards getting yeah. destroyed. The next one is Skytree uh, Blockade Ship, right? That's yeah. a weird word to put t together. It's a 4 drop, 2500. It's a Guardian. That's all you need. Units in front of this card cannot attack, so it's a double Guardian. Yeah. 
It, it's very powerful. Yeah, for it shuts cheap. down all kinds of stuff. Uh, this whole deck. Yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> uh, next is Eaton, the Righteous Outlaw. He is four for twenty five hundred. You discard this card from your hand. Return target air unit you control with cost three or less to its owner's hand. If this card is in your discard zone, when an air unit is returned to your hand from the field for the second time in a turn, you may put this card into play exhausted. Expel it when it leaves the field. This dude, like always, I didn't give him enough credit. Because this dude, if he's in the discard zone or multiples are in the discard yeah. zone, you just get free 2500s. Just like that. Because you're like, oh, I bounced two dudes? Bring all these dudes in. Because they each trigger separately, but they trigger off the same triggers. Yeah. So you're like, cool, I get free two... Two twenty five hundreds. So let's break all your towers as quickly as I can. Yeah, that's definitely what happened with one of our, of our brawls. <laughs> turn three, I did that on yeah. his turn, and I was just like, "Ah, oh, that's not good. No, not no good fun. at all." All right, another airship is a Boris Cloud Sea Enforcer. It's a five drop, four thousand. It's also a mega unit, and for the mega cost, you need to put on a Sky Raider. Uh, unblockable, so Guardians can't uh, be used. Put a unit under this card into the discard zone. This card gains immortal until the turn, so therefore it cannot be destroyed by damages or effects. So that's super good to save it. And then run. Uh, you may put a play. You may put into play target sky raider or airship with unit cost four or less from your discard zone into play. That's insanely powerful. Yeah. So you just put this on your elemental, and then if they kill your four drop guardian, that makes you know that stops the dude from blocking, then th when this dies, you can bring that back. Sadly, it can't go on your elemental. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it needs it's a... Not sky it's not a Skyrider. It's not a but still... But it goes on your other dudes, and you're just like, cool, my one drop 500 turns into a big airship now. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Next is the Skytree Warship. It is six for a 3,000 destroyer, so it can attack two towers. And arrive, destroy target unit with cost four or less. So it destroys dudes. everything. Yeah. And then ruined, you may put target Sky Raider unit or airship unit with four or less from your discard zone into play. So let's kill a dude, bring a dude back, and kill some towers. Yeah. Seems good. Seems solidly fair. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here's the cuteness of the deck for sure. Celestial of uh, Genesis. It's an eight drop, 5,000. Legendary, so you can only have one. Arrive. If two or more air units have returned to your hand from the field this turn, take an extra turn after this one. And then expel Celestial when it leaves the, the field, just in general, so you can get it out of there. So we have a cute little trick where you can take an extra turn every other turn, if that makes sense. So with the elemental, or no, so this is on the field, and hopefully you get an extra turn, and you can pay with the, the tiger to go onto it. And then with Kite's ability, you can bounce the tiger and this back to your hand, and then do it all over again. Yeah, because Omega units become that dude. Yeah. So they just go to your hand. And then everything underneath the Omega unit goes back to your hand as well. So that's silly. But it doesn't have its claws of anything on there, so it's re-exiles when it leaves play is totally not there. Yeah, exactly. Because it's just that cat, and you're just like, cool, bounce. big cat, bounces all my dudes. Bounce the cats, and also uh, enter into cheat step and bring this back and get another extra turn. Yeah. So that's a super fun time, and hopefully you can catch that for sure. Next up is the Cloud Sea Offensive Formation. It is one for an instant cast spell. Play only while you control an airship and you pay one, destroy target unit or augment. Thank you. So you're like, cool, one mana, kill your dude. Thanks. Just, wait, that's it. I'll have airships. Yeah. Although that one with the face always creeps me out and I don't like it. <laughs> also to kill a dude is Hurricane Shot. It's two drop with a uh, insta cast. As an additional cost to play this card, return an air unit from your field to your owner's hand. Sounds good. And then destroy target unit with a cost four or less. Done. And then next up is Omega Magic Kazi. It is two for an instant cast spell. If you have two or less towers remaining, this costs zero. And target unit cannot deal damage or attack this turn. Draw one card. Extremely powerful card. Yeah. Hey, don't do that. Just Stay don't do that. Home. For free. Oh, thanks. End of yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. And of course, we'll get into the shards here and it's the basically the same stuff we have corona spirit rudy because you need to kill a dude yeah that's simple enough cypher crystal uh so basically you can destroy any augments that come into play pay two tap it destroy augment thank you and then of course the regular ones now for towers we actually have two new ones and they are the limited towers or draft or sealed or however you want to say it and but you can still use them which is pretty cool so we're going to test them out and see how good they are the first one, of course, is Tower of Waves. It's a 1,000 blue one. 
When this card is destroyed, you may draw three cards and put two cards from the hand on the bottom of your deck. So if you draw unnecessary stuff that you don't want, then you can get rid of it. And I know the blue one, you just draw two cards straight up, but this one lets you at least choose the one card that you really want. Yeah, it draws three, and if you have the two Grove Little Middles, you're like, cool, go away. Yeah, and it's any cards in your hand too, so you just draw and then dump the ones that you don't want. Yeah. The next tower we got is Tower of Embers. It is 1,500 tower to break, so it is different. Yep. Um, and then when this tower is destroyed, you may deal 1,500 to a unit, and then you may deal 1,000 to another unit, or to a unit. It doesn't have to be another one. It can be the same, but nice. it literally can kill two dudes instead of the one tower that the red one can kill. Yeah, or it still can kill the one big dude if need be. So yeah. it just takes a little bit, because it makes with, with the early game won't kill this tower as quickly, so you can actually have it for future reference. And then it can actually, I don't know, board wipe a little bit early game too. Yeah. If that happens. Now, of course, uh, usually we do not have sideboard because we don't know how the local meta is around around you. But we do have honorable mentions, which you can put in the main deck or sideboard if you like. And the first one is Cosmic Air Unit. It's a two drop insta cast. Uh, this card costs one less to play for each face up air tower, so it can be free. The next ar arrive ability does not trigger this turn. So if any of your arrive dudes happen, like arrive, kill that dude or whatever, but like, no, it doesn't happen. Yeah, no, you don't get that. Sorry. Thanks. Next up is Cloud Sea Preparation. It is four for a spell. Add target Sky Raider and target Airship Unit from your discard to your hand. If you play two or more other cards this turn, you may put them into play instead. This card's awesome, except it costs a lot. Yep. So you have to play this late game for it to be any kind of good. And it, it can be really, really strong, though, if you're like, cool, this dude, that dude, they go with kind of play. Yeah, <laughs> enjoy. Now, of course, if you play the in-play ability, you cannot use pick a mega card because they have to be cast from your hand. Yeah. So remember that. The next one is the Hidden Dragon of the Cloud Sea. It's a 7-drop, 3,500, but that's what you won't be using it for. If you do, it arrives at least two other cards. If you played this at least two other cards this turn, put into two cloud dragon tokens with quickness, which is very rough because it costs seven, but you may pay three, discard this card from your hand, put it into a cloud dragon token with 1000 and it has a uh, quickness. So that might just be like, oh, I need a dude to kill you. Okay, pay three, discard this, go. Simple as that. Yeah, cloud drag's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty not too bad for sure. Um, this deck looks really good, really fun, and it's kind of something I would really super enjoy to play. It's green control with creatures, so thank you. I promise you I won't. No, definitely I not. I mean, I'll play it once and I'll be like, this is pretty sweet, but then I'll be like, I hate this deck. Yeah, especially Dude. when you play against it, you'll be like, I hate this deck. But, oh, yeah, I know I will. Oh, yeah. Because you bounce all my stuff and then knock it down. It was just no fun. But with that, hopefully the list will be down below, and hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.